life. <laughs> Can't ring my name. Okay. So in this video, what I wanted to tell you <laughs> is that you are a gift to everyone that you come across every day. Everyone that you're in contact with, you are a gift. Now, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> you're probably sitting there going, oh, but I made this person angry and I upset that person. And you've got a whole list of things that you judge, probably, that are not so good. But what if that person that you made angry needed to have that interaction with you? They needed that. Because when you trigger anger in someone, You've just pushed one of their buttons. There's something in there. There's something in there that's stirring, that's still upset, that's happening, that's been stored from way back. If it wasn't, they wouldn't be angry. They wouldn't react. And you've helped to bring that up in that moment so that they could look at it and heal it release it. Now why am I angry? No one ever stops to ask why am I angry in this moment? You know, a lot of the times we're angry, you look at the actual situation, the circumstance, and you think it's not even worth getting angry over. <laughs> it was so simple, it was such a simple thing, and yet they get angry. You know, but it's because there's stored hurt in there, there's stored pain from childhood that hasn't been healed. And because it's still in there, when it gets triggered, it brings up this anger. That person that you upset, you might have made them cry even. Again, there's something in here that's not healed. Some, there's still pain here from childhood. It's still stored inside. So instead of judging every time you've hurt someone, every time you've made someone angry, or every time... You know, it's not all about making other people laugh and feel good or feel loved or life is not about that only, you know, it's about all of it. We're here to experience all of it, not just the being loved and the being happy and the being, you know, at peace all the time. We already have that when we're not on earth. What's the point of coming here to experience the same thing? It would be pointless <laughs> if you already are all those things outside of being here on earth why would you come to earth to experience only that when you've got all this other wonderful smorgasbord of emotions to experience grief the anger the fear we don't get to experience any of that outside of here it's only here we get to, I was going to say enjoy, I don't know if a lot of people would uh, like that word, <laughs> but we get to experience all of those emotions, the whole gamut. So it's not right or wrong, we're actually here for it. And also for you, you know, I found for me, I started to see how it worked in others once I saw it in myself. When I saw the times that I've been the most unkind with other people is the times in my life where I've been in the most pain, the most hurt inside that I have ever been. I've had two massive depressions in this lifetime. And in the second one especially, the first one was more about going inwards. I just, I just became isolated. I didn't want to talk to anyone from the first one because I had had enough of talking and no one was listening. So my first one, I actually went inward and stopped communicating. With the second one, I felt I needed to lash out. And I know now that the people that I lashed out at, like the ones I wasn't very nice to, at the time, that is what they needed, you know, for their spiritual evolution. I didn't know it then, you know, and since I have apologized so many times to both of them. But, you know, um, yeah, 
it was after, you know, that I looked back on it and I thought, wow, I was like in a lot of pain emotionally at the time after the IVF failed and um, I wasn't pregnant and I had all these expectations about what the first, you know, baby was going to be like and um, that whole experience. And so when I saw it in myself, that's why, because, oh, mm, 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 mm. and then I thought to myself as well, I started to look at, oh, when have I been really loving and kind and caring with others? When I'm feeling good about myself, you know, I'm feeling good inside, I'm good, I'm good. I like to lift others up, I like to make them feel good, I like to make them feel loved, you know, but it comes from within, always, it comes from within. Once you see it in yourself, how you behave because of how you feel inside, is when you start to understand it in everyone else and stop taking it personally. That's not a personal attack on you, it's just where they're at. If they're unkind, if they're yelling, if they're, there's a lot of pain there. There's a lot of unprocessed stuff that's been shoved right down and they don't want to look at it. Right? And yes, it's not your fault they're yelling at you, but you don't have to take it on either. You don't have to react to it, you know, and add more yelling to it. You can just respond by, you know, adding water to the flames rather than put more logs on it. <laughs> you know, you can either walk away and go, okay, or, you know, deal with it in a manner that doesn't require you to react. There's a difference between reacting and responding when you react you're on automatic you're letting your what's not healed in here right your pain to uh, lash out and let it all out there when you respond you're coming from a place where you see their pain you can see that they're hurting and you can see why they are behaving that way and so you can respond in a different manner you can respond without having to, <laughs> you know? <laughs> it can be dealt with in a very different way. So, yeah, today I'd like you to think about yourself. Try and look at yourself. Try and look at the times that you've been kind to others. You've been caring, you've been loving. How are you feeling inside? What was going on inside of you that you felt that way? and you wanted to share that with everyone around you, that good feeling. And then look at the times that it hasn't been so good. You've been mean to others and you've said hurtful things or, you know, put others down or whatever else it is that you've done, right? And bullied others or who knows what else, you know, is in your list of when you haven't behaved very nicely towards others. And that's not with judgment, I'm just saying, what we would call not nicely you know um, and you've made others feel bad about themselves how are you feeling inside yourself what was going on inside of you at the time really start to look at it because when you can see it in yourself is when you start to see it in others and then you can not take it personal that's you buddy you're the one with the problem <laughs> that's all good but I don't have to have anything to do with that, you know. You can still walk away and be at peace and not have to, you know, be a part of any of that. So, you know, really look at yourself. That's what these videos are really all about. It's not about, it's moving you away from looking at others and feeling like you're the victim of others not you're not the victim you're not a victim you never were the victim so yeah understanding how people behave why they behave a certain way it's really important you know for your peace for your well-being it's got nothing to do with you even if they're making it look like it's super personal and they're attacking you that you did something wrong <laughs> it's got nothing to do with you so, yeah. All right, my darlings. 
I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.